Far on the western front, our tireless army grapples with all the ugliness of war. Above the clouds, our ever-watchful air force in constant, well-armed vigilance still soar. And our vast navy, every peril daring, patrols, polices all the seven seas. But we, whose ways are set up on the home front, are given a task far easier than these. Easier, yes, but so hard to accomplish, since there's no gallant challenge we must dare. Ours is the task of hugging all our secrets. Our watchword, be silent and beware. For most of us are simple, friendly people, and in our friendliness an easy prey to all those strangers, pleasant and soft-spoken, with whom we come in contact every day. We meet them in the train, the shop, the club room. The conversation eddies to and fro, and we who love so much our self-importance have got to let them see we're in the know. We talk of our relations in the service. My brother's regiment's in France, of course. And have you seen that anti-aircraft battery? So we give the details of its strength and force. So it goes on. And in this heedless fashion, a scrap of information is disclosed. You may smile and say, it's such a little matter, yes, but worth far more than ever you suppose. Enemy ears, alert, await your message. It finds its way to agents whose shrewd brains assemble it with thousand other details and juggle jigsaw-like with endless pains until from out the chaos there emerges a plan. Immense and useful to the foe. And maybe just because that plan's discovered, a million men to their destruction go. Because you talk, the youth, the flower of Britain, mangled upon the battlefield may lie. Because you talk, a thousand roaring warplanes may swoop and rain down murder from the sky. Because you talk, our proud and gallant sailors may be cast to the cold engulfing sea. Because you talk, a million homes, once happy, cheerless, and dead, and desolate may be. Yes, you, you who love the boys who go to battle unflinchingly, resolutely for our sake, you who admire them for their careless courage, for hardships that they bear, for risks they take, you who would gladly give them every comfort, would nurse and serve them with your latest breath, you, in the thoughtlessness of idle moments, may speak the word that sends them to their death. So as we strive by every means within us their heavy load of sacrifice to lift, let us be sure that we who give so freely give them our silence too, our greatest gift. Thank you.